Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And today, uh, another video about budget, uh, direct labor budget. All of our videos about budget, they are in our video description and also our Excel files. And if you are talking about budget, let's go to our Excel file. So we are moving through the Skype Incorporation. And here for our direct labor budget, we need the units to be produced. And where are they? On the production budget. So here, number of units to produce. So these numbers here, we need to move from here to the direct labor budget. However, never copy and paste these numbers. If you try to copy here, copy here, paste here, it will be a mess because we, it is a formula. You can paste it with numbers. However, never do that because if you change something here, it will not be changing here. And then your balance sheet will not be balanced and you will, you will have problems. So what should we do? We should link it. So equal or plus production number of units to produce. And now you can copy and paste the formula until December. And the total is the sum of our units. So 309.3, let's double check here, 309.3, it's okay. After that, it's a given number. Direct labor hours per unit. So how many hours do we need per unit? Here, 2.5 hours. And the total is never the sum. It's just like selling price. We don't sum it because the total is 2.5 hours per unit. Total hours required units to be produced multiplied by direct labor hours per unit. So we have here our numbers. And how do we know if this 773 is right? We only sum January to December and we have the same number. So it is right because the formula here is also units to be produced and multiplied by direct labor hours per unit. And then how much do we pay per hour? Here, our company pay $18 per hour. $18 per hour, also our total. And direct labor costs. It is total hours multiplied by direct labor cost per hour. And we copy and paste here. We are good here. And to double check this number again, we sum from January to December. And here we have our numbers. If we have different direct labor uh, costs, for some workers we pay 18, for some workers we pay 20, and so on, we can work with some average here or one sheet per direct labor price or direct labor rate, if we are talking about direct labor. Okay, guys? So, thank you so much. If you have questions, comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin at gmail.com. You can uh, like our page on Facebook and please subscribe our channel, like our video and have a very nice day.